Hello everybody and welcome to this week's issue of the Toronto Performance Newsletter. Today we're going to discuss a performance tool to be used on the field or on the court uh, when an athlete needs to decelerate or slow down for momentum. It's called the jump stop and basically what the tool is used for or the context that it's used in is when an athlete um, is moving forward and something happens, the environment changes the ball goes another direction, an opponent makes a move which dictates that the, the play must go another way. So the athlete isn't sure at this point if they have to uh, cut to the right or to the left, if they have to head back. They're not sure what's going on. All they know is that the environment has changed so that moving forward is no longer advantageous. Moving forward is a mistake. They're not sure what the right thing to do is yet, but they know that moving forward is not it and they've got to get to a stop. So this is a move to practice, why it's important to practice because Oftentimes, when moving forward quickly, it's difficult to come to an abrupt stop. You try and stop, and then you, you, you lose your footing and you tumble forward, or you, you roll your ankle, or uh, you're slow reacting to whatever has happened to the environment or to the play. And this is a good tool to use to teach athletes how to quickly stop, to leave the ground, get on their heel, heels firmly, in an athletic position which allows them to assume the correct move depending on the environment and, uh, and what's going on. So. I'll give a couple demonstrations of how the uh, jump stop can be used and then further link with other athletic skills. The athlete stops, realizes that something has changed. Now the play is going over to the right. You can make a quick directional step turn and cut off to the right. Or, athlete's running. They stop, they realize the ball or the play is going to head backwards. They do a quick hip flip, turn around, in that direction. So those are a couple of the scenarios in which uh, the jump stop would be used and ways you can link it with other skills to make an athlete more effective at stopping and starting on the field, especially in the chaos of sport where they're not sure what's going on. They just, they just know that the previous action they had thought was the correct one is no longer right. All right, thanks for tuning in. See you next time.